um, are, I think, somewhat self-explanatory, but is there any, and then of course we've got an update on the strategic well, plan. Have, so what are, let's the start, let's f focus on this if anybody has any Okay, comments. all right. You know, uh, the only thing that I would add is with number 10, long range, in addition to support and promote a workplace culture of continuous improvement, I think also to reinforce the customer service policy that was in the manual. Okay. I would add that because in terms of one of the things you talked about is eye contact, with, you know, with the patrons and that type of thing. Now, I don't have any suggestions because I've sort of had conversations on this, but if mm -hmm. there's, uh, the point is to get everybody, I mean, because it's not fair to evaluate somebody like, oh, by the way, I expected you to do X, Y, Z, and, you know, as they roughly do, like, wait a minute, I never, I never saw that. Um, is he on there? So if there's, I guess sure. what I would say, I... Well, it's also in seven, uh, it's also goal seven. Um, and yeah, hence customer service, service success through yeah. self-study self training, training and goal setting. setting. Mm -hmm. It's more specific. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm not sure if this is the right document for it, but... Uh, I think it was maybe your first a couple months you mentioned that uh, library magazine that we were a three-star library and if you could give some thought to whether you think one of your goals might be to get us to be a four-star whatever the next level is of that library if that's worth uh, including in a future iteration of this document I'd like to uh, at some point hear your thoughts on that so maybe that's for the board to discuss rather than Anthony but um, I think it certainly looked like an interesting metric for us to aspire to. But I don't think we really know what metric, what metrics go into that three-star rating, and if it's dependent on expenditures from the library as opposed to specific things. I mean, I think one of the things we've always had is sort of a understood goal, maybe there's something, we've always considered ourselves a really good library and sort of maintain that standard of excellence, but I don't know that I feel, personally whether I would want to wed that to any particular outside rating, although you're sort of aware of that, but maybe you can incorporate something like, you know, the leadership excellence to peer libraries, I don't know, does that make sense? I think all that makes sense. Um, I, I will say, I think that that is kind of nested into this it, very broad it, statement of a continuous um, uh, a culture of continuous improvement. That's my mantra. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do is going to be, well, this is excellent, but excellence is a moving target. Let's try to, you know, take this to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the star rating system, as I explained before, um, it has a value. It has a purpose. Um, I, I wouldn't put a lot of stock in it as a as a tool to, of the true measure of the qualitative success of, the, of our organization. Um, it's based off of output measures. The metrics include circulation, um, performance of our, our programs, um, what, the, what the actual um, number of heads were in a, in a program, um, how many people use the internet, how many people come in the library every day. Um, those are things that we can measure and we continue to do things to, um, to study how successful our marketing is, for example, and, bring, and drawing people in. Um, th there are a number of things that we can study that are related to that, and I think that's nested into continuous improvement. Um, some of those things are going to be a challenge for us to be able to um, identify which way we can target to move the needle on some of those things. As I indicated at that December meeting when we um, received that, that accolade, uh, some changes even in our policy and the way that our, our materials circulate will actually influence the outcome of, mm -hmm. of those metrics. Um, we have uh, this new policy of automatic renewals. If the item is um, available to be renewed as a courtesy to you, um, we'll renew it so that you can avoid um, having any late fees. Uh, that's yeah. a nice courtesy, but that also um, counts as an additional track of circulation. Um, whether that is a true circulation or not, that is the way the system will, will count us. that. Yeah, so yeah, in yeah. effect, um, our circulation could double 
in which case we might end up being a four-star library, <laughs> maybe even a five-star library based on circulation. But is there any way just to do first-time circulators? There is, and, and we can certainly analyze that. I'm, I'm kind of well, making light of the, of the metrics, but <laughs> I think, you know, that's one of the things that we'll look at. I mean, one could skew the data a little bit to work in your favor. We'll be as honest as we can in reporting our information. Mm -hmm. um, the, the data that was collected and reported on for that three-star library was based on 2015 data, mm -hmm. I believe. So anything that I do in the next year is probably not going to be picked up by that star system for another couple years until they reach mm -hmm. um, year 2019. So, but but yes, I think you know the the net effect of, of all of those metrics and, and whatnot are certainly under consideration and studied so, consistently. Well, yeah. So thank you for bringing this kind of context because it sounds from what I'm hearing you say basically is the things we should be most focused on are not trying to meet a star rating, but to focus on the so things that we can so. show as as near and midterm actions we take and and then positive results from those from those choices or learning from mistakes that we try to make. Right, and, and we'll yeah. learn that from the public as yeah, well. Exactly. You know, we yeah, exactly. So. We want to know how we're serving well, Matt, not just how we're performing so against other libraries. So we would evaluate you on continuous improvement because that's a good buzzword. <laughs> I think if we could have a little bit more specific. It could be a little bit more specific because, I, you know, continuous improvement could be a whole lot of different things. One of the things I'd sort of like to jump in here a little bit now, and I sort of said we used to go at this like for two or three months um, mm -hmm. and just have fun tweaking goals and wordsmithing. I would also like to point out to people we want to have a review of the director of performance on our normal schedule, which is a May, June. So um, maybe some of these thoughts, unless they're major, you know, sort of hold off revising this too much in the short run and just really enjoy yourselves with revising it in July, <laughs> August, in <laughs> July and August, uh, after, particularly after you've had a chance to go through one review. So I think these thoughts are important, and it is our first mm -hmm. chance to look at it. But let's sort of maybe not get try to prolong the Two discussion the over this too <laughs> long. No, I just wonder what continuous improvement is. It, yeah, no, I know. That's it's a good question. Yeah, that one um, and also, you'll have uh, a couple new board members. Um, to have input on this, so they might have but some still, thoughts too. So I think that's a good I idea. I think it'll help everybody for the process upcoming if there's something there that everybody can look at. Thank you. So, so um, when the time comes to report on progress towards the director's goals, mm -hmm. um, I would likely prepare a document for you that looks a lot like the next document in the packet, which is um, the update on our strategic plan process, right. um, in which, by example, um, you know, with this continuous improvement piece, um, I, I would go at length to explain the ways in which I think we've moved the needle on some things. So that would be one way that I could just kind of add more articulation of that. Um, I could go on at great length about the strategic plan <laughs> progress update, but maybe this would be an opportunity for me to turn this over to you and see if you have any questions about this, um, and then I could get into some of the more detail or talk about where we're at on some things. Yeah, I mean, I liked. I thought there's a lot of great detail in there, um, really. But how many times? But one of the things that I'd like is in terms of detail. You you give me the number of people in the community. But when you talk about a staff off and road to these current events on Professor Flom, how many times did they ride on Professor Flom? <laughs> because it could be two, it could be 10, it could be 20. But I think specific, if I knew that, that would be important. And then the other thing, I think when you talk about, you know, and it, it's part of the goal, whatever, but establish a committee, explore our outreach opportunities and deepen existing partnerships. I think when you're talking about expanding, I'd like to know exactly who the targets are because nowhere it says who you've reached, but there is no goal as to who that target is so that you can measure it against that target, which I think the data that you talked about, and you might want to share that in buying, can see where those areas are because it's going against specific populations, but it's not going about against non users that we would like to also reach. Right. So, um Maybe we're talking about a couple different things here. Yeah. Um, that I think what you're talking about is our marketing plan mm -hmm. um, and our efforts to develop the marketing plan, identify any opportunities for us to expand um, our reach to those that are not already taking advantage mm -hmm. of the services of the library. Um, 
that's going to take a, a deeper study. That's more of an analytical process that's going to get us to that stage mm -hmm. to identify what our target markets are. Um, in terms of this goal, goal one, two, the community engagement committee, the goal there is to um, collect a list of all of the existing partnerships and outreach contacts mm -hmm. that we currently have um, so that we can deepen the relationships that we already have um, and find opportunities to develop other relationships within the community um, mm -hmm. to expand our role. Um, the marketing plan is to look at specific uh, demographic groups in our community and try to find ways that we can better serve those groups. Right, so the, like the NSSRA, the fact that that's going to be a, another outreach potential outreach right. part, yeah. Uh, so that, and they'll be a partner in helping us achieve elements of the marketing plan. Yeah, exactly, right, 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 yeah, so, yeah. I'll talk to you later, but the, the social media, to me, is a big part that we don't do in terms of we look at the number of followers, and I think that that, you don't pay for, you have to pay for the staff's time, but the advertising is free. Unless you do some contests to get more likes in terms of communicating and mm -hmm. communicating with that. So that would be another thing that I want. I feel as though it's been seen more, frankly. Yeah. Well, I got an email. Well, you know, but I think, well no, yeah. but I'm, of course, I don't do Instagram. But Wait, go ahead, no, go ahead. Now, my perspective is, too, what I like about what you presented, Anthony, mm -hmm. is that we've, we're only in the first year of our five-year long-range plan, and it, and it feels like we've, we've really moved pretty far in terms of what we're trying to do. We have a lot to accomplish, and to like Lisa's point, how we explore social media, whatever, but in, in terms of marketing. But, but in terms of, I think, in terms of what you've been able to do, um, and, and really only three months. Yeah, I know. I, I'd say that we're in the first year, but it's, yeah. it's already, already there's been a lot of movement, and that's, right. that's terrific. And, well, and, and to yeah. the staff's credit, a lot of this work was, was, in, was in progress um, yes, you yeah. know, before I even came on board. The yeah. staff has done a fabulous job in, in taking the initiative on this process. Right, and somewhere in here, it's, I'm, and I'm not sure it's, it's not so quantifiable, but that there could be something about, um, and maybe I did see something about just making, and it's also vague, making it uh, employee satisfaction, like are people happy? Um, are they enjoying their work? Do they feel challenged? Are they getting cross-trained? I mean, again, it's really hard to quantify all that, um, but just to keep in your mind that that's really important too. I mean, we always talk about how we value the staff and we really do value the staff, so, um, but we want people to, um, you know, be challenged and engaged and, and um, and feel like good about here. feel good about being here, like you said. Right. I, I mean, I think that's at least in my experience of being in other libraries, and I've said this before at different board meetings, that sometimes I get you, you can get a very clear sense, I think, of where a library is functioning well internally because of how the staff you interact with and how, in mm -hmm. terms of how, if they are, if they are, you know, happy or personable, you know, and, and mm -hmm. I get overall, I think what we get, the feedback we get here, and, and what we experience here is is fairly positive. So that's mm -hmm. and that's, an, but it is a very important thing to be. Um, addressing and sensitive mm -hmm. to and, and make sure that we, again, progress or stay. Uh, in, mm -hmm. in, in, I'm very much sensitive to yeah, this yeah. nature. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing that I, I noticed before I even came on board at Wilmette Library was that the culture of this team is very much invested in the success of the organization and how we perform uh, our service to serve this community. Um, one of the things, that it, to, to your point, I think one of the things that um, we could do, um, if you would allow me a year to, uh, mm -hmm. under my belt here as director first, right. would be to bring in a third party, such as mm -hmm. HR Source, formerly Management Association, to conduct um, an employee opinion survey, mm -hmm. where we would be able to then have uh, some, some metrics. We would have a baseline measure where we could you know, determine what is employee satisfaction here, mm -hmm. um, how do they feel about our workplace culture, um, there's a, a way that you could evaluate your benefits package as a part of that program, um, mm -hmm. the, the policies match what the, the needs of the organization are and so on. And that would be something that we could use to um, help guide us going forward in terms of how we manage personnel. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I did that at one of my past libraries, and yeah. it was nice to have a benchmark measure that we could kind of come back to year on year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we spent all this time and energy on the on the infrastructure of the building, you know, whether now the outdoor innovation, and, and yet with what's equally important again is what's going on with the People. lifeblood of the, of <laughs> we, the operation. We know that staff are one of our most valuable yeah, resources, exactly, right. if not the yeah, most valuable. Exactly. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So, I think that's that's a very good question. Yeah. So. And it, it just serves the community better, if uh, yeah. So. Okay, um, so we'll get these quarterly, correct? Yes. Okay. Is that sufficient? Is quarterly enough for oh, yeah. this? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's so, a lot. <laughs>
So that's that. <coughs> Committee reports. We've all gotten the ILA, mm -hmm. library closing, outdoor renovation. Um, bids um, will be open um, on Monday. Bids are due by 1 p.m. on Monday, February 25th. Um, we will hold the bid opening um, in the auditorium mm -hmm. at uh, 1 p.m. on Monday. Um, and then as, as uh, Kathleen reported earlier, um, Shales McNutt will go back and, and vet all of the, uh, the submissions. Mm -hmm. um, we'll meet with me, talk more about those. Um, we'll engage Tesca in that process. And then um, they will make a, a recommendation to the library following that. Um, I will present that recommendation to you via email in advance of our meeting um, before uh, the meeting on the 5th um, so that you have a chance to consider that information before uh, we get together and meet on Tuesday the 5th. Sounds good. Um, I have attended bid openings. Um, they are, if you can, they're, they're, they're worth attending. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't think I'll be driving yet then, and Anthony doesn't have to pick me up for that. Um, so, um, you went to the um, President's Day uh, breakfast yesterday? Correct. You both went? Mm-hmm. In the snow. Sure. <laughs>